Sorry. Delicious life. Hi Welcome. guys. Ooh. Try again. Welcome back to Delicious Life. <laughs> yes. Welcome back. Anyway, this video is sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> She's lying. I'm joking. Anyway, um, today we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be telling you. We're gonna be talking to you guys about our experience. Um, finally going and meeting my agent and going to the agency and how our day went. I would like to say before we even get started that it was a really, really cool experience. Even though I'm not the one doing any of that type of stuff, I'm not interested. It's all her thing, but I found it really, really fascinating and intriguing. So let's get going. You start. By the way, I'm wearing my Christmas sweater or pullover, little sweatshirt. Also, by the way, chilling with my gnomies. By the way, my, my commentary a minute ago was also sponsored by Coca-Cola, I'd like to mention it. <laughs> Original Coca-Cola. Original taste, exactly. Yeah. Um, now, could you say that in Spanish? No. Get going. Let's okay. talk. Okay. So, um, we went up there on uh, December the 16th, uh, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you guys remember us constantly, constantly alluding to what was coming up and everything. We were talking back and forth with the agent and um figuring out what day we had a list of dates and i was like i definitely want to get it done before christmas i don't know you know because everybody's going to be on break who knows how long and you know i just want to <clears throat> get this done as soon as possible but i had cut my hair if y'all remember i cut it too low so we had to wait so we chose the 16th and we drove up there first off Tell them about oh. the part, like, okay, so we were gonna take the train. All right, right, so here's the deal. We went to the, it's in the Quad Cities, guys. So if you don't know where that is, if you're not from Illinois, that's far northwest, it's western Illinois, but it's north. It's on the border with Iowa, okay? So, first we were thinking, let's take a train. Uh, my plan was we take an Amtrak, we go up to the Chicago area, yeah, then we take a Metra, yeah, yeah. which is the local that they have, the, the, the city of Chicago, right? The Chicagoland area has this thing that goes out to they, the burbs. A, and things everybody like that. has a train. So, right, but it's yeah. the Metro thing. Okay, yeah. but I'm explaining what that is. So I, but I've never really, <laughs> I don't really know how to find the routes, unless I called and I asked the lady. I told her I need to go, and she's like, well, we have a bus that goes out to Moline, she said, which means she doesn't even know. That area. The, that, the name of the, that particular town is Moline. Says Moline. That's the right way to say it. <laughs> so that just, so they don't even have it. And then we were going to take an Uber, actually. Well, 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 hold on, but we're not there yet. So the, but, but no. the bus, I'm but saying. that bus that we were going to take, well, no, the Uber was the later option. Hold on. So that bus that she said that goes out to that, that place that was close is not, it's not even working right now because of all the coronavirus stuff. So then we thought, let's take an Uber. Go ahead. No, that was, I was saying that the Uber was going to be after we got, like, because when we talk, thought right. we were going to take the Amtrak, then the Metro, <clears throat> then, okay, Metro stopped right, at this point. Molina's so is right next to Rock Island. That would have yeah. been a $6 trip. No big deal. Good point. That's a good point. So then we thought, okay. Okay, you have to tell them where it's at. Anyway. So let's take it. So then I thought, let's take a... Um, well, because then we thought, well, maybe we could take a plane, I thought, right? Yeah, he thought that. I thought, well, because they have a little airport. We have an airport, whatever. The only one was leaving out of Bloomington, which is an hour north. It was going to be for both passengers in total one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars, and on top of everything, instead of making a twenty-five minute direct flight, it was going to go all the way to Atlanta, and then all the way back that way. So six hours. That was crazy. Ridiculous. So obviously out of the question. Then we came to an Uber <coughs> possibility, and we thought the only problem that we thought was we have I, to find somebody here who that's willing to make that, make that drive. ridiculously long drive, right? And, Uber. A, and then a, it's one thing to be in a car with a stranger for like. But those. <laughs> Don't stop talking. No, I was gonna say you gotta get a tissue. It's one thing to be in a car with a stranger for a couple of minutes, going to Walgreens or Dunkin' or something right, around right. the around town. Um, but it's another thing to be in the car with them for two and a half hours or whatever the trip was. 
So, I mean, we would have, if we had no choice and it was easy and we figured out somebody who could take us, fine, whatever. Well, now, but, right. She's, but that. And that was, the, and weird. the biggest concern for me was, like, like we're saying, how are we going to find, if when, if, if December 16th, if Wednesday came and we needed to go and no Uber driver was willing to do it. We would have been stuck. We wouldn't have been able to do yeah. it. So I didn't and, want to and they done. have a, a system where you can search or, you know, Plan put out a time. thing and have it where they give you a driver. I don't know how, how many minutes in advance or... I don't know. They, they give you like a five minute window or ten minute yeah. window. They'll come so, and do something like that. Um, but... We did know an Uber driver, but we don't have his phone number who did drive to Chicago, but we don't know him personally and we don't have his number. So luckily, anyway. we have... Or, you know, he, uh, you good know, a good friend, yeah, yeah, who he's known since he was a little kid, and uh, he's, got he's, a he's older than us, <laughs> but we, I mean, he's really a guy, yeah. nice guy, and so he has a daughter who happens to be home from college because they, you know, since she came home for Thanksgiving break and Corona, they don't want the students back, so so it ended that, up being, yeah, she, we, she ended up us. doing it, and then of course, half of what it would have cost to take an Uber, let's say, well, maybe a little bit, even less than half. Half, less than half of what it would have, more than half, sorry, less okay. than an You're Uber, sorry, but still more expensive than the train option would have been if it all would have been working. But at the end of the day, it worked out, no big deal. So yeah, sorry. Now let's, now let's talk about the agency. <laughs> so we get there, um, we get there actually a, bit, a little bit earlier than scheduled. We were supposed to be there at noon, and luckily there was no traffic, even though it, it snowed mm -hmm. actually here. The day mm -hmm. that we left, it snowed the here. First, so the first real snow. That we had. Yeah, that stuck. But yeah, so luckily there was no traffic. So we get there, um, <clears throat> we wait, and then we go in, and the first person we meet in person happens to be happens to be the agent the and owner. yeah, the owner and the, the agent. But um, she was out getting snacks and things for the refrigerator, mm -hmm. and uh, so she was there and she let us in. It was freezing that day, so. <laughs> And this guy gets out of the car without his jacket. Because I didn't know what it was going to look like inside. And I thought, man, what, what, there's no place to sit, no place to put my jacket. I don't know. I didn't know what yeah. to expect. I've never done this stuff, guys. It's new to me. No, but he's been into a pho photography studio. But, I, guess, um, I don't know. But yeah, so we get there. I get uh, hair and makeup done. Well, first we get there and she's like, I guess, filling me out and seeing how I move, you know, like, cause she, like we talked about, she's never worked with a visually impaired or blind person, anybody with disabilities whatsoever. So I'm her first client like well, that. And, and remember guys, imagine the scene, right? Here's this nice lady. She's waiting for us. We walk in, there's Delisha. We well, she's in her car. It <laughs> doesn't matter, but she gets out. We're going and I'm saying, there's Delisha walking with her cane. And there I am coming behind with no cane and with glasses on, with really thick glasses, right? So this whole thing like she said and she's never been with anybody with disability so all this is going through her mind yeah. she's trying to figure it out and assess it on the and spot you, right and Imagine. you guys <laughs> if you watched the video before this where we actually take you on the trip with us make sure y'all check that out if you haven't already then you see the layout of the studio kind of so mm -hmm. um um so then we get in there and we're talking and <clears throat> i didn't i immediately had to go to the bathroom so i didn't really talk to her <laughs> too much she um, left me to talk to her that was yeah. uncomfortable uh, blame the coffee, the iced coffee I had that morning. So you want to tell her, tell her, tell them like. So we had a good conversation, but number one, I was freezing to death, and I was I was so so I was so cold that <laughs> I was even having a hard time getting my words out. But and I was really? just, well, I was like, like people were chattering. Kind of, I was, I was, I was it's funny that she didn't offer you to turn on the heat, but when I walked in there and I was taking off my jacket, she asked me if I want the heat on. Uh, I'm just I'm just the <laughs> person there. The, yeah, I, don't care. I I think she thought he drove me. I think she thought that at first too. No, at first she was like, "Really?" When I told you that, but just like how she was saying stuff, I think she kind of thought that. But so we yeah. talked. So we talked for a while, and, and I was we were also waiting on the makeup about, artist. Right, we were waiting for her to show up, and I was also kind of Nervous cautious about think, oh, well, like thinking about what to say, thinking about what to say and how to say it because this is this is delicious thing, and at at that moment, I'm kind of setting a first impression because I'm in the bathroom. Right, so I was cautious, and she asked me, so we were, and I told her everything. Oh. I'm oh. Just, Good general and conversation. When, and when we walked to the bathroom, she's like, uh, you know, can you, are you okay? Can you see me or whatever? Are you, you know, finally away? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then she, you know, checked if I needed her to stay back with me at the bathroom. So it's just kind of funny. It makes me think of when I was little and, you know, people uh, standing there waiting on you to get, get out but the But you bathroom. know, my, my best friend always says, 
he says that people associate a cane with total blindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I and I think he's right. I, I think he's agree. right. And they see my glasses and they think whatever's wrong with them, those glasses are fixing, fixing it. Because yeah. I'm telling you, it's. It, I, I she told me about getting a soda and she's like, oh, it's it's right in the other room or whatever. But she didn't offer to show had, me. Right, mind you, we didn't see where the fridge was to begin with. Right. So we did. So he didn't know where over there it was. Uh, but yeah. So and then. But yeah, it's okay. So then we met the. No, it's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying so that you don't know where over there was. Nah, I would have found it. I would have <laughs> so, found it. Cool. Where? Where was it then? Is she, well, she said it was right, right when you come in, and it's. I guess they have a little mini bar there. I didn't look. Maybe when we it was came behind in, the but... counter. Maybe that's what the counter was—a little uh, bar thing. Um. I so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we met the makeup artist. She was really nice. You guys got to see her in the video. Um, her name's Andrea, like she said. So make sure you check her out. And um, she did a good job. Yeah, huh? she was really nice. I don't get my makeup done often. This was only like. I want to say my second professional mm. time getting my makeup done. I had it done for people who came to our school for the blind who offered to do it for our prom and then I had my grandma do it before for dances but never professionally uh, professionally done and it was it was a nice experience. She was a nice lady. She sounded nice on the phone when I called to ask mm -hmm. you know how to pay so I, I felt like all of these people who I talked to on the phone they all came across really nice and friendly and so I, I knew it was gonna be I was gonna be comfortable I might have been nervous just because this is a job this is you know first impressions and everything like that so but I knew the people were gonna be nice and they were probably just as nervous in their head about me as I probably would have been about them so so at this point we're what 30 45 minutes into being there and we've oh, already and by the way um, <laughs> oh, my turn. No, by the way, uh, we heard the song. This won't mean anything to anybody but my so grandma. She's gonna say it anyway. But, but my grandma is the say the car name. <laughs> Mitsubishi. Yeah, and we had a red one growing up. Now you say the car name. <laughs> Mitsubishi. How you say it? Mitsubishi. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> I not say it anyway. Um, but um, so. Right when I'm sitting there waiting to get my makeup done, that song comes on. Because the playlist they had is very interesting. Even the makeup artist agrees. Like, the songs were yeah. different. It was so like, we wouldn't hear them on a regular day. It was Pandora, I think. But so, yeah. obviously, as soon as the sound came on, I didn't get this on video, guys. She kicked <laughs> over the makeup stand. She got up on the chair and started dancing, of course. No. If you haven't heard it in, what, 20 years? <laughs> so, <No>. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm like, oh, my gosh. You know, I need to tell my grandma. And I didn't have my phone with me. So I couldn't Shazam it and like screenshot and show her. So I That's had why I Shazam went. Thank God I was there. Yeah. Anyway, it, it was just it was just a moment, okay? Because I'm anyway. always telling him about it, and we don't have a tape. We burnt the tape. Let's out. get back on track. So here <laughs> so we are, about 45 same. minutes into this, as she's finishing. We've met two people. We've met the agent, and we've met the modeling person. I mean, the the, the makeup lady. And at this point, makeup artist. Both of them are extremely nice people. Yeah. Very nice. Very friendly. And, and we already felt. I already felt at least a lot more comfortable with the situation once we got to that point. I think I wasn't even nervous. I was more so nervous about the photography part, I think. I think I was just, I think it was just like, an unfamiliar thing for me. That's why I was a little nervous about or, or, or cautious. Just, yeah, about what I was, was going to say. What, what, I didn't know yeah. what to expect. All you see is what you see on TV. Right, right? usually they're kind of fast Which, and... And if we would have lived in Hollywood, crazy. California, I'm sure it would have been exactly that, but that's yeah. not what it is in the Midwest. So then, Which, continue. So, the... Um, what we did was, was she went with a natural, you know, neutral makeup uh, palette. So that was that was nice. Um, cause you guys see me if you go to my Instagram stuff, you see me with the red lip, you see me with like glitter eyeshadow, all this stuff. But for this shoot, which was a test shoot, it was just natural, and that was that was really nice. Um, and it, it from what I've seen, it looked really nice on the, on camera. Mm. And so then we get uh, done, and we finally meet Click, who's Aaron, who's the photographer. Um, and he's a really nice guy. Good and, guy, too. I like him, too. <laughs> and for some of you guys who watch, you know, I, for me, he made me think of our old gym teacher, Mr. Ravy. It's just, I don't know, something about him. He, he was, it was just, I don't know, something Lord. about him made me think of <laughs> about our gym teacher. Um, but... It was a really cool experience. He was really, I liked him a lot, and it would be great if I could work with him with other projects. Mm -hmm. But I know that the other clients who I'll be working with will have their own photographers, most likely, if they're big enough, I don't know, and their own makeup artists. But 
I really like both all three people, but the makeup artist and the photographer, they were really nice and he was really great with telling me direction and how to move and come in and feeling comfortable enough. I mean, he asked me, of course, but feeling comfortable enough to uh, say, do you mind if I touch you and readjust you and your sweater, all this stuff. So he, it was great to work with him. And then, uh, of course, the agent was there, which was nice because we met her in person finally. And she got to see how I work and maneuver and everything. And if she needed to ask questions, she could ask, you know, right there. So. And I would also say that, um, Oh, I had a thought and I lost it. Well, I was going to say, you know, even though when you work with these clients and everything, whenever you get client, you start working with them, they're going to have their own people, like you said. But I think that I think the good thing about this is that you've met two people who you work really well with, who you like a lot. So in the future, you're getting into this world now, knowing two people who do a good job, who you work with well, and who you trust. So I think that's important. Who knows what the project's going to be in the future? Who knows how this is going to branch off into right. what? But you have... Names, contacts. you have contacts, and that's yeah. a really good thing. Plus, I, I gotta think, say those contacts. And well, and I was also gonna say, <laughs> you know, so then I'll, I'll say a little bit now. So I'm sitting yeah. there recording as she's getting pictures, as she's getting her pictures taken, as you guys saw. And he that cut probably, out my head. I did that probably, <laughs> because there was no good place to stand. How he was running around and everything. So and then and people were walking back and forth. Right, right. Yeah, but I told him next time to stand. There was a table, um, and to stand in front of that table. And so he can get my head and everything, but... So anyway, <laughs> and then, so as this is going on, right, from every once in a while, the agent, she's running back and forth, doing different things, and she would come by and look and watch deletions, and see how it's going, and then she would come over and whisper things to me and talk to me quietly, really right? Nice. Oh, sorry. And <laughs> so, you know, she was asking questions about how to work with deletions or different things, and, um, but... Did but you I, tell I think, her to show me the pictures? Yeah, she, she asked me, yeah. she said, do you think if I show her this, she'll be able to see how the girl's standing in the thing? I said, yeah, I said, she should be able to, and if not, you know, she just tell her she'll be able to adjust. Yeah. So, but like, the, for example, that's a, that's a perfect question, right? But then she, and then she came over, at least like they say, the first time she said, Delisha's doing really well. And the photographer also said, Delisha, you're doing really well. And I thought, okay, they're right, just yeah, saying it right, to say too, it, right? Me too, me too. I did think that. But then it. as time went on, the agent came back over to me various times and commented again how well Delisha was doing, but she also used specific details and sp specified how and why she was doing well, right? So then I realized this is, she's not just saying it. Delisha right. was really impressing her. She was taken aback by how well Delisha was doing, how well she followed directions. And like and we how said, well, she's never personally. That's the other thing. Be, she was never up close and personal with somebody with a disability right. uh, and, before. And I we'll, mean, I'm sure she's seen people walking across the street with a cane or a, guy, a service animal, but. And for now, Maybe not until five or ten years in the future. We'll never know this. But I'm almost certain from all the people that I've met in my life and being around non-disabled people for my adult life 99.9% .9 of the time. I would say 100% honestly, except for you and me, except for you. <laughs> that when they, when she saw Delisha walk in with that cane, I bet you the woman was scared. I bet you her first instinct was, oh no, how are we going to make this work? <laughs> I'm almost certain she was frightened. And that's probably why she was also extremely impressed because there's Delisha, the photographer saying, move, move a little, slightly, slightly left to the, more to the right, move your eyes a little bit left. And perfect, he was perfect, mixing perfect. up his directions, but I, click, you I quickly out. knew he meant instead of right, it was majority left. <laughs> but so, they were really nice people. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm happy that the first uh, person wanted to take a chance of me happened to be, the, be her. And have to have I don't know just be a come off really nice and, and because I know a lot of people at least from what we see on shows like you said can be rough and world. and yeah. like cruel. quick and like if you don't get it they get frustrated you know it's just like it's a so, cool thing either you're perfect or you're out that's what I mean at least what we see in New York or L A and yeah, yeah. maybe because we were in the Midwest or whatever then maybe maybe and maybe because you know well the other thing is let me also say I also so at the end there I just want to share this with everybody for our blind viewers you know <clears throat> I told um, at the end there she talked to us both and she said well she was talking to Delisha but I kind of approached her and she yeah. said thanks Delisha you did amazingly well she explained the next few steps blah blah, blah. and I Which, let, I, yeah, let, I will means, say that in a minute yeah. and so Delisha was responding well and then I said I and I said you know and I, I would like to say something I said I don't know if it's my place and I don't know if Delisha cares I said but I just want to thank you I'm sure Delisha does too but I want to personally thank you I said because you made the decision to give Delisha the opportunity 
you're giving her the, it doesn't mean she's gonna succeed, it doesn't mean clients are gonna wanna work with her, but because you're willing to give her the opportunity, that's how things change, that's how things become different, and that's how people, work. so I really appreciate that, and I shook her hand, and I said thank you so much, for because at the end of the day, when I, when I started my job, working for the state of Illinois, which was 2011, long time ago now, when I started out, I was this young guy, I walked in there, didn't see well, and my supervisor, I know at the moment when I first met him, <laughs> and he saw me that I didn't see well, he was probably frightened to death. He said, how the hell am I gonna oh, work with this okay, guy? Oh, okay, okay, not the boss. Jim. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Then, I met, then he said, let's go to the back office and meet the boss, his name was Steve, we sat there. Steve was not that worried, and I, I came to learn, figure out not too long later, that it's because his father, when, when, when he was young, <laughs> had gotten in an accident and gone totally blind. Talk about... Talk about luck. Yeah. But that's why he said, it doesn't matter, whatever man he needs, we're gonna make it work. You tell me what you need, we'll get it. Done deal. <laughs> but if he wouldn't have get, but after that, but, but then I worked there for eight years and nobody thought anything about blind people anymore after being around me for all the time. And I think the same thing is gonna be with Alicia. This woman, this agent is very sharp. She's very... Oh, s- tell them your on first the impression, by the way, because he no, had not. this image in his head. You know, because <laughs> you see people on TV, especially in the... Like we said, in mean, LA and New York, they're always. They, I imagine they, this woman. They, I imagine really is tall. Right. I imagine <laughs> this woman to be long blonde hair. Let's say, <laughs> I imagine her to be six feet tall and ninety nine pounds. Right. <laughs> this is just what I'm imagining. Yeah. And, and once you picture, you feel her a model or <laughs> right, Asian right, right. or exactly. you know. <laughs> not, nothing. Not well, even but the blonde hair. Yeah. Well, okay, that's true. But it's short. Shorter. She was shorter. No, and the hair was short. Yeah, she was short. <laughs> That, but I didn't expect it. That was the I, and I was like, no way! Don't tell me this is like. And when I first saw it, I thought she just must be opening the door for somebody else. Yeah, so, oh, I swear! Door. I swear! I thought this is not the lady because I what do you, and, and what so Hollywood when we shows walk, us when we were walking, we were walking and talking, and she was I guess trying to call me uh, to see where I was at because she had pulled up. And she's like, there you are. And that, that's when I knew it was her because I had spoken to her multiple times, and so. <laughs> And she also had the sodas in her arm, so mm-hmm. she had told me that she went to pick up sodas for the office, the place. So, yeah, so anyway. really cool experience. <laughs> Great experience. I- um, even the bathroom had a mirror in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what oh. bathroom you go to at a, let's say, a, I'm, I'm not a mirror that's above the sink, but the standalone mirror that stand up so you can see your outfit. Like, they, they want it's you to... a full mirror. Anyway. They, you know, in normal bathrooms, you don't see that. Not even at a hair salon. I don't know. It was just... Or, or the public restroom at our mall has that, I think. Maybe yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I think it. Are you right? Now nah, I'm gonna be looking. Um, right by the sinks, at the end of the sinks. Right about the to- like between toilets over here, yeah. sinks are here, and, and all the way over there. The end hmm, of the sinks. I'm gonna have to look now. Yeah, I think. But you um, I don't go to the men's restroom, so that's why I don't know. Like ours are different. <laughs> I'm sure yours is the same. Anyway. anyway. So, Guys, it was a really neat experience. Ask um, us any questions if you have any questions. I think, um, I don't know. I think so, it was a great experience and, and it's... Hopefully, starting the new year, um, well, we won't probably know about the pictures, which ones they chose because they took, a, well, she he took a bunch. I would say over a hundred, guys, <laughs> and, if I had to um, say. And um, so we probably won't know which ones are up on the website We're until mid-January, right? Yeah, so early, mid- early mid-January. Yeah, mm-hmm. so then, but I don't know when she's going to talk to her, the people that she knows uh, to work with me. I don't know probably if Probably after that's done first. You think so? Yeah, because she needs to have pictures to show them. Yeah, I guess so. I would say, so, so I would say, we don't know when the first, oh, that's the other thing. What I want to mention one more thing, mm. if I could. If so could. in that in that discussion when we were talking with her and I said thank you for giving her the opportunity, really, one thing that she mentioned is she says, you know, Delisha, you really impressed me. Today. This was great. She said, um, I have a few clients in mind already who I'm going to reach out to specifically right. when we That's get everything done. And about. and I wanted to mention the importance of that statement. Prior to our, us meeting her and going up there and this whole thing happening, she had told Alicia she had initially spoken about working oh, with eight, a, working yeah. with clients that work with have things to do with disability specifically and Delisha said you know over the phone hey I, that's perfect I appreciate that but I would also really like to work with those that are non disabled yeah. focused right and and I always thought when we get up there and they see Delisha and they see that other than her eyes crossing every once in a while she looks perfectly normal and if she knows where to look in the picture she looks perfectly normal so we got up there whatever and apparently I was right because when this all finished and she said, I have clients specific in mind who I'm going to reach out to, that means since she's never had a disabled person before, never worked with anything with disabilities, 
she doesn't all these clients are normal clients right and then they're not uh, disabled places also to mention uh first uh she had sent me a role for acting mm. and that was for uh disabled like a uh, business i don't know i don't remember exactly what it was some called. organization i forgot what it was yeah called. so and at first i was kind of like thinking oh man this is we're already starting the road like this i don't want to just do and I, disability stuff which i because I, I'm not I don't want to present myself as an activist for all of that stuff that's not no, what I want to no, do no. so I was kind of worried but you know I'm hoping for the and best I, and I think and I honestly think you know she also told me at one point when when she came over to whisper to me she said at one point you know because I mentioned to her that what he's saying like I'm left out of the loop here well you were at this point you were busy getting pictures taken Whatever. I was saying <laughs> she said to me you know something about deletion I said well you know I said the nice thing about Delisha is I said, as let's say, let's compared to me, I said her eyes look perfectly normal. She knows where to look, other than her eyes slightly crossing. And she said, you know, that's my after watching Delisha so far. She said that's my only concern, which is making sure her eyes are centered and, and looking where they need to look. Other than that, Delisha does everything perfectly well. She takes direction perfectly. She positions herself perfectly. She poses perfectly. It's only that. So out of a hundred pictures, I'm certain that there are more than three pictures where her eyes are perfectly centered. Much more than just three. So I think you're gonna do just fine and, and that, so anyway. Yeah, no, that's, that's you know, cool. What I was just saying, like, I was worried that she was gonna have to reach out to uh, organizations that but are that, only but say she, Because she didn't know what to expect. No, I, I and, got and that And you, you, you showed her that you can- Take direction and try To and the level the of camera. a normal person. <laughs> of a non-disabled person and yeah, that's the yeah. big that's the big thing you you really impressed her uh, so, yeah. so i have high hopes for her guys i think it's a high hopes for this whole thing <laughs> so Can't so talk. maybe maybe early february can somebody uh, tell us why we do these videos at two in the morning it's 2 a.m guys what the hell's our problem because that's when we're are you gonna trying to, time to correct me two, Look, it's about to be three two forty one well that's nice we are trying oh. to function <laughs> oh please um, so just watch the rap battle on no the i watched with, the versus battle 40 and he says we're out which, which if you guys you know about the the versus battle with Tim put, put on by Timbaland and um Swiss Beats um but yeah so that was a few hours ago whatever anyway so maybe early February uh maybe March. March we'll see if it's on I, my birthday you're gonna have to miss it <laughs> um if it's on your birthday you can listen to when while you come with me. I can't wait for that book. Um, so yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this story. Or, Ask you know, any questions if you have any questions. And, and um, watch the video before this so you can you know, go along with our And day. we're really looking forward to taking you guys along with this us journey. on this journey because yeah. this, is, this is what Delisha's always wanted to do. The channel is called Delisha's Life and really this is what Delisha has always wanted for her life. So I think that this is gonna be pretty and emblematic. And I wanna take you guys, even if it was about even if the title was both of us or whatever. That's true. I, I just want to take you guys on this journey because, like we said, how many um, disabled models do, do you, you know? know? Like, you can probably count yeah. on your hand yeah, sure. how many, like, and not just being having a visual impairment, but any yeah, other disability. Really. So, yeah, so this is something that I want to take you guys on, fully sighted people, and show you that. Don't be too scared if you have a business to maybe take on, take that, you know, give that person a chance. And we will be sharing, we'll be sharing the pictures, whatever, the final ones that are picked. On Instagram. With, on Instagram, and maybe we can, maybe we can pop them into the videos here, you think, or no? No. No. I, we'll share that you one guys Instagram. need to you guys, follow me on Instagram. That's a good point. Or uh, uh, if you don't use Instagram and you have a Facebook page because you're like 55, <laughs> then you can go to my business page, Delicious Life. Yeah. Uh, links are always in the bio. Don't and when you to... see and when you see the pictures that they pick with all the touch ups and everything, you're not gonna know she's she has a visual impairment. There's no way. I know I know it for a fact. Anyway, uh, well they wouldn't choose those where I look that way anyway. I know, but I'm just saying. All right, guys. Anyway, I was gonna say like, comment, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the post not uh, notification bell. That's a tough one, isn't it? I'm trying to say all of that, yeah. Nah, nah. Um, and then. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas because this will be up yes, on Christmas right. Eve. Oh man, that's um, right, guys! Happy Christmas Eve. Yeah. Oh, Merry and Christmas Eve. Merry, and then um. Mary had a little lamb. And then um, <laughs> we might try and get a video up on Christmas Day. So after Maybe. you're done.
stuff in your face or unwrapping presents, then you can sit down and chill out with some watch hot it cocoa. As you, as you Which, out. by the way, guys, nobody told me about those cocoa bombs being hard to find. I just heard about them, and I'm really sad that we didn't get to try them out. <laughs> so I bet you they're going to have them after Christmas after the holidays. Though. Yeah, most likely. We'll so thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Or on Friday for Christmas. That's true. Have a Merry Christmas, guys, in case we don't see you. Bye.